right, all right, guys. Welcome back to another video. Guys, I am coming in today with a meal I grew up eating. This is some nice, good stew, tomatoes, and sausage. I don't know if you guys have ever had this before, but in any case, we're going to jump into this video, and I'm going to show you exactly how I get this done. Alrighty guys, so this is a simple meal right here. This doesn't take long, maybe about 30 minutes at the most. And all I have for this is a couple of sausage links. You could use whatever your favorite sausage is. I happen to like Roger Wood here in the south. And I have me two cans of uh, diced tomatoes. I prefer the whole tomatoes, but dice is what I had on hand. So we are going to roll with that. And I have me some onions and some green bell pepper. And I'm just going to be using my favorite seasonings with this. Alrighty guys, so first things first. Got me a little bit of leftover chicken grease in my pan right here. And I'm just coming in and adding my sausage and onion and bell pepper all in one. Don't laugh at my plate. Alright, so we're just going to let these cook down until my vegetables get just about nice and tender they're going to stew down or cook down in the tomatoes so they don't have to be completely tender at first but i do want to get a little color on my sausage so i'm going to just let these cook down for a few minutes and then i'll be back all right guys so my vegetables and sausages has been cooking here for a few minutes until they still need a cooker a little bit longer for my liking so i'm just going to go ahead and try to give these sausage a turn as much as possible and i'm going to let this continue to cook for a few more minutes and after a few more minutes they start looking just like this vegetables nice and sweated down sausage gained a little bit more color on it so this is perfect for me right here so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get my tomatoes inside of here if I ever stop stirring it I don't know why I'm stirring it so much <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and get my tomatoes down inside of here now all right and guys you can look at that top of that can until I open it with a knife I have an electric can opener and a hand can opener, but my first thing is to always grab my knife and open my can. <laughs> oh boy, old habits are so hard to break. But we'll get that second can inside of here. And then what I like to do is just take one of those cans and put a little water in it. Rinse both of them out. And then I'll just add that little bit of water inside of here. All right. Then once I get that, we're going to come and add a little seasoning in here. A little black pepper. All right. Then I'm going to come in and add me a little onion powder inside of here. You guys can put anything in this that you would like. But I like to keep mine simple. After I get the onion powder added in, I'm going to come in and put just a little bit of this regular table salt. I don't like to mess with this table salt too much, but certain times I do use it. But I don't want to use too much of it. Just sprinkle a little bit inside of here. And that will be good for me. Alright, so once I get that added... Then I'm going to come in and add me a little bit of sugar inside of here to cut the acidity of that tomato. Alright, and all I'm going to do is just give this a nice little mix. Get everything mixed together. And I'm going to cover this and let it cook for about 10 minutes or so before I check it again. So I'll go ahead, give that a mix, get my top on it, let it cook for 10 minutes, and then I'll be back. And this should be just about done, guys. 
Alrighty guys, so it's been about 10 minutes now. You can see this is at a nice little boil. And what I want to do is come in and add maybe about a tablespoon. That's unsalted butter inside of here. That's going to give it just more flavor. Now you do not have to add that. That is completely optional. I think it just adds a, another little richness to it. So I get that added in. Let it continue to cook. For maybe another five six minutes and it's gonna cook down guys I like to leave the top of the uh, leave the top off of it so that it cooks down a little bit more now if you like liquid in it like this right here you could definitely stop it at this point and leave a little bit more liquid inside of it for you but I like to carry mine over maybe another five six minutes and let that liquid continue to reduce a little bit those flavors are going to enhance a little bit more. And this is how I like mine right here. You can see it has just a slow simmer to it. Cook down really good. That's absolutely perfect right there for me. You could put this thing on top of some rice. You can put this thing on top of some nice good pasta noodles or anything like that that you would like. If you're country like me, I even put it on grits. <laughs> okay, guys, what well, this is done. This is perfect the way that I like it. And I got me some white rice. And I'm going to plate this up, take my thumbnails and my videos, and I'm going to give it a taste test for you guys. Some nice, good stewed tomatoes and sausage. All right, all right, guys. I am coming in with a quick taste test. This is my nice stewed tomatoes. Some might call it smothered tomatoes. But in any case, it is good, good, good. I'm gonna come in here and get me a piece of the sausage. And some of this rice tomatoes. And I'm going in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me, that choked up. Then diced tomatoes, you're going to let it cook a little bit longer. That's absolutely perfect. Hmm. I need the bell pepper. And the sugar balance out. The acidity of the acidity get it together, Kenny. Of the tomatoes. That's perfect. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alrighty guys, so this is my meal right here. Nice quick middle of the week meal. Doesn't take no longer than maybe about 30 minutes or so. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. And also please subscribe to the channel if you are new. And follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Twitch TV. Cooking and Chilling with Kenny. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget the hashtag, guys. Just be a blessing to someone. Peace.